Many people have further asked me to explain my reasons for leaving Bride Ministries. The article is part of a longer conversation that Lauren Grace and I are going to be addressed in more detail in the future. God willing, but for now, this is the beginning. This article is long, but we encourage you to read it. Beyond the physical dot blogspot.com why I left bride ministries also this is his response what are you doing chicken you bouncing? <laughs> You're silly. Here it is. Blog beyond physical blog. There we go. Now hold on. What's that? No shit. No, go back. I'll be sharing my experience from my work and disclosing. While we're within the dark side, I, Carol, and Hamlet have left Bride Ministries, the Fireplace Church, and everything associated with Dan Duvall, praying medic. There is parting ways because I find their new doctrines to be new age, heretical, and against the teachings of God and dangerous. Once this was brought to Dan Duvall's attention, I discovered he agreed with these heresies which were being pushed by some of Bride Ministry and the Fireplace Church. Bride Ministries is now working in concert, concert with the same ministries that are teaching New Age and Luciferian doctrine disguised as Christianity. I will be coming out with information soon which will clarify the spe specifics. As we promised, the information to clarify specifics is available in the form of a book. With a, It's a free download. Doctrines of Demons Exposing Christian Witchcraft. How do I get this goddamn book? This is a free book, so I'm allowed to read it without any, you know, I won't have to worry about anything if I read it. Doctrines of Demons Exposing Christian Witchcraft. This book is dedicated to those that have been wounded and looking for help, only to fall victim to liars who prey on the innocent and teach doctrines of demons. My God. Throughout the book, we offer suggestions to dissociative individuals on different topics. We do not set out as mental health professionals. Purpose of the book. While there is much to be said on the topic of Christian witchcraft, to do so I could fill volumes. It is our hope that this short book will open the conversation and you, the reader, can be can begin to research the topic on your own. This book is not written with the intent to cast judgment or bring condemnation, but to expose the dangers and to bring awareness to those who have been involved in Christian witchcraft, even innocently. Everything in this book is written based on our own experience in the occult, our personal experience with the charismatic movement, as well as our experience with what is commonly referred to as deliverance counseling. In an effort to warn others of the doctrines of demons that they are being deceived by, we do not mince words nor shy away from being honest and open about our own experiences and what we know. The spirit of witchcraft isn't a problem that is unique to only the charismatic movement. Okay, let's keep moving. Holy purple hell in a handbasket. Can I just get to the book? Let's see what this is about. The term Christian and witchcraft are two terms most people would not put together as being compatible. And certainly scripture teaches us that these two are not. However, there are many different categories. Oh, and this isn't some... Listen... This is not some religious reading that I'm doing. This is a person that left 
praying medics church telling you what happened and this person was like a higher up in praying medics church that's why i'm reading through it just to see what they say let's do a search for duval dan Duval. Duval. Dan Duval of Bride Ministries. TB, who's TB? Dan Duval. Once we brought it to Duval's attention. What they are teaching is exactly what I, as a child, was told about Satan's spiritual hierarchy. It would mean that Lucifer would use to take Christians away from the fundamental Bible teaching and embrace Lucifer's theology. This is no small matter. This is a huge part of Satan's in-game plan to take Christians by storm. Isn't that weird? So, earlier today, we see that Lift the Veil has a admitted antichrist Satanist on his show, interviews him multiple times, referring to him as a Christian, when every place you find this guy off of Lift the Veil's show, he's he will he doesn't even care to hide the fact that he's the antichrist. He says he's the antichrist, obviously. I'm not telling you that I believe the guy or anything like that. I'm just describing what the hell happened. Um, but the most what strangest part of all this is that even though Nathan has this dude on and and presents him as not an antichrist but as a Christian, you know, and like I said, around here at Uni Rock, we're fine with you being whatever religion you are. We don't, you know, we do not discriminate against you for being a Satanist or a Christian or an atheist or a Buddhist. Whatever you are, you are freedom of religion and our constitution and we have to live it if we believe in the constitution and i do live it but i don't like any religion that hurts other people that lies to people or rips people off and i don't like a christian parading around as a satanist or a satanist parading around as a christian okay if any accident death calamity or anything related to that happens to me or any of my loved ones be very suspect of it and push to have a full investigation in addition, I had never committed suicide. I would never commit suicide. I have alerted some trusted professionals who are very aware of the situation and taken note that I am of excellent mental clarity, soundness of mind, and spirit. Today hasn't been the happiest day of my life. I don't want to get my stuff taken away. D.D. Dumont! Thank you, Peter Gooderman, for sending me the beautiful song. Why I Left Bride Ministries. Testimonies from former clients and family and former friends clients of Dan Duval, which is praying medic. Astral realms and astral traveling, the real truth. Always found it weird that praying medic did preach Luciferian agenda, uh, Luciferian teachings inside of his Christian worship YouTube channel. Always found it strange. You'd think more Christians would... You know why Christians are getting duped into listening to Dan Duval, praying medic? Christians are getting duped to listen to the guy because of QAnon. And you know it. Yeah, I know it. We, Carolyn and Lauren, we, Carolyn and Lauren, have already shared our testimonies concerning Dan Duval and Bride Ministries, Praying Medic and Bride Ministries in several ways. In an initial blog article and in video conversations that we recorded and shared and in a book. We 
decided that it was a good idea for us to go ahead and step out and and try to do a video and because we think it's important for you to see I mean it's it's just good when you when you're looking when you're seeing the person that is talking and it isn't just the audio and um, anyway so we'll just we're just gonna do the best we can this is our first try but um, what I'd like to do right now is to start off with the the most recent article that Lauren Grace and I wrote. Um, I guess I didn't. Um, I assume everybody knows who Lauren Grace is. She and I have done a number of programs together, and she's also a survivor of uh, satanic ritual abuse and um, cults, Christian cults. We have uh, very similar backgrounds in some ways yet in yet dissimilar but um our unique backgrounds do provide us with the ability to speak with authority on these these issues that we're going to be addressing and so we're here to share what we know with you and also to point you back to the bible because that's that's the main point the bible is the word of god and it's um um, I know this for a fact, you know, for 30 years, and I think that if it wasn't the Word of God, people would know by now, you know? Where'd she go? So, it, it isn't just the written Word, it's His Holy Spirit working in us, and, and that's the transforming part. And without Him working in our hearts, in our, in our, oh, just fuck. our whole selves. Okay, I don't need to hear all that, sorry, not being mean. <sighs> Okay, there is a parting of ways because I find the doctrines to be Luciferian. Once it was brought to the praying medic's attention, I discovered that he agreed with these heresies that are being pushed by Bride Ministries. Bride Ministries is now working in concert with ministries that are teaching New Age Luciferian doctrine, disguised as Christianity. I'll be coming out with information soon. What? they are teaching is exactly what I as a child was told by Satan's spiritual hierarchy would mean that Lucifer who is Satan would use to take Christians away from the fundamental teachings of the Bible I think I already read that many people have asked me to further explain my reasons for leaving Bride Ministries this article is part of a longer conversation that Lauren Grace and I are going to be addressing in more detail in the future, God willing. But for now, this is the beginning, and the article is long, but we record, we urge you to read it more than once. There is too much information to process. In all seriousness, if after reading this article, you have the misfortune of listening or talking with Praying Medic, I strongly advise that you come back and reread the article to remind yourself the truth. Is this another praying medic fucking thing? Why does praying medic constantly use military themes in his shit when he wasn't in the military? Early, early in November 1st, Carol and Hamlet went public with my break from praying medic and bride ministries. Please review this copy of my public announcement. Carol and Hamlet have left bride ministries the fireplace church and everything associated with dan duvall there is a parting of ways because i oh i read that part i read okay if any accident death comes to me then i know what happened that's crazy that she would think they would try to kill her is anyone else getting creeped the fuck right out oh come on lmao come on dude don't Come on, man. Quit watching all those damn pedo gay videos. It's getting to your head, brah. Shit. I was not the first person who saw Dan DeVal was teaching pure Luciferian doctrines and techniques. A few before me took this same matter to Daniel DeVal, which is praying medic, according to the biblical way to approach a brother in error. The consequence of these honest and well-meaning people's actions is that they were promptly outed and lied about by medic and Darla Carver Guerra, which worked to discourage others from being in contact with these people and certainly not believing them if they were to come. This is the same thing they do with the Q, with people that try to show the truth on Q. Same fucking thing, guys. 
I just happened to be the first victim who has a voice to speak the truth to be heard. The day after I posted my public announcement, Praying Medic updated or posted his own, and it's no surprise that everything Duvall said in regards to me and his announcement were complete lies. Why do people lie to hide the truth? And as I just mentioned, I'm not the first person who's been a threat to what he is hiding and probably not the last either. Many people have thanked me for making my public announcement. Do you guys feel like I should do this in a live dive? Let's go. Let's dive. You ready? Are you ready?